Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. If we have two triangles drawn in our notebook and want to verify if they are congruent, we cannot every time place them on one another and find out whether they are congruent or not. So instead, we can use another method that is called congruency in terms of appropriate measures. Now suppose I draw one triangle and ask you to make a copy of it. Then you would need some information. Now suppose I give you information that one of its side is 3.5 cm long. Then, then you may draw many triangles with one of the sides being 3.5 cm but they will not be the copy of my triangle. So I will give you the length of one more side. Even now you may draw triangles which are not copy of my given triangle. So I give you another information. I give you the length of the third side also. To draw this triangle whose all the three sides are given, I would need to draw it using a compass. We will draw a line segment of length 3.5 cm and say we name it AB. Then with A as center and 4.5 cm as radius, draw an arc. Now with B as center and 2 cm as radius, draw another arc which intersects the first arc at point say C. Now it remains to join AC and BC. Hence we get a triangle ABC which is of exactly the same length as the required triangle and this triangle ABC will be congruent to the required triangle. So we can say that if length of three sides of a triangle are known, then we can draw a congruent triangle to it and hence the SSS property states if under a given correspondence the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent by SSS property. Let us read the question. In triangle ABC and PQR, AB equal to 3.5 centimeters. BC equal to 7.1 cm, AC equal to 5 cm, PQ equal to 7.1 cm, QR equal to 5 cm and PR equal to 3.5 cm. Examine whether the two triangles are congruent or not. If yes, write the congruency relation in symbolic form. So clearly we can see that here AB is equal to PR which is equal to 3.5 centimeters. Then BC is equal to PQ and they are 7.1 centimeters. AC is equal to QR which is equal to 5 cm. So here we can see that 
three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of another triangle so triangle abc is congruent to triangle pqr by sss property also from the three equalities we can see that a should correspond to r vertex b should correspond to vertex p and vertex c should correspond to vertex q so a b c should correspond to r p q in order for the two triangles to be congruent and now it is time to understand that we should write congruency in the order of correspondence so instead of writing abc is congruent to pqr we should write abc is congruent to triangle r p q by sss property as by doing this we can know that a lies on r b lies on p and c lies on q